Hey shooters, another day, another out of the box match gun review. Out of the box into the match gun review. Today's gun is a Ruger. Hey, cool. You know, Ruger's made some great 22s for a long time and then the revolvers are very well known, very well built. Um, for me, the auto loaders have always, the auto loading center fire guns have always been functional, but just really just never had everything they needed to be a really good gun to compete with. This may be a little different. Now this is their bargain basement 9E. This is their, I hate to say bottom of the line, but this is their most economical pistol they make in the center fire line, the 9E. It's based on the SR9. And just dry firing it and handling it, I like it. Uh, yes, it's got a thumb safety, but oddly, it's very easy and as small as it is, almost vestigial, that it rolls off very nicely and works. So this might, might find its way into, into a, a carry holster, especially if you're an appendix carry guy and you like having a safety, but yet you want a striker fired gun, this may be a good choice. But uh, let's see how it shoots today in match conditions. The 9E comes with one magazine, so I had to purchase another magazine because I to, already had to prevail upon my fellow squad mates to load the two magazines I have. And I don't want to, you know, push them any further than I already do by saying, could you please mow my magazines? So I bought another magazine for the Ruger 9E. We're down here at uh, Tri-Cities, uh, Benton County, uh, Washington, Tri-Cities uh, Shooter Association, and we're going to go shoot a steel match. So on the load command by the range officer, we'll load the Ruger. 90 for the first time and put it to use on steel. Uh, today's holster it happens to fit pretty well in one, it's a Safariland holster built for the uh, seven, Glock 17. So it actually fits pretty decently, covers the trigger guard in a Glock 17 holster. Okay guys, see you on the range. Uh, it's blowing out here like it blows all the time. If the wind noise gets too bad, I'll try to do some voiceover, but hopefully we can get most of it on tape and you guys will enjoy it. See you on the range. Due to technical difficulties and foolishness on our part, uh, have tablets not working and being anxious to shoot, the first five runs that I normally always include in every video are not included. So this is going to be the second five on the same stage that I began the match with. Make ready. Ruger 9E, their economy model with safety. Are you ready? Sure. Stand by. Three zero eight. Three zero eight. Because I'm one of those weirdos that rides the reset, that's the stall on the trigger. Stand by. That was just jerking the trigger. <laughs> Stand by. Safety! Get off! There we go. It is tiny. <laughs> Stand by. Three, two, nine. Three, two, nine, last three. Okay, I better do it in five. Cause I think I've got six. Stand by. Seven. Three, three, four. Yep. three, three, four. Show clear. Show clear. Put it away. Put that thing away. Oh. Other than uh, missing the safety once there, uh, it's kind of cool. It actually runs okay. It feels nice. It shoots all right. We'll see how it does uh, over the long term. Ruger 9E. Thank you very much. Stand by. Five, five. It's Three, not five, that five. difficult. Stand by. Three dot six four. Make ready. Man, they've got some crazy cool stages. Yeah. Safety on. Remember, take safety off. From left to right, dude. If you're gonna do it, will you just shoot it that way? Probably. Thanks. Really fast too. Really fast and accurate. <laughs> shoot it ready. Yep. Stand by. Come on, there it goes. 551. 551. Does shoot high. Stand by. Four twelve. Four twelve. Stand by.
498. 498. Tired of missing. You could stop Stand missing. Nope. <laughs> oh. Stand by. Three three eight with one miss. Three three eight one miss. But I heard five tings. <laughs> okay. Stand by. Bye. 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 I'm doing it at Jared's expense. Seven eleven. Seven point two five. Seven two five. <laughs> Stand by. Five, six, three, and that was, I don't know what a rendition it of, but it was lovely. anywhere where I want it to. Five, it's six, the three. die, die, die song. Okay, this would be a good one. Head straight. Stand by. Four, six. If you're finished unloading, show clear. Yeah, that would be clear. That'd be clear. Hammer down, and horse. And we're all done. <laughs> Keep in mind, a poor performance in mine part is not indicative of the gun's performance. In the in proper hands with a proper attitude, the gun's probably great. I just ain't shooting it very well, and I'm embarrassed by it. Stand by. Two seventy-eight. Two seventy-eight. You a blind hog. Stand by. Three fifty-two. Just pull the trigger a lot in a general direction. Stand by. I'll take a magazine. That one? Miss that one? How about that one? Oh, how about that one? You can miss that one too. How about this one? Got it. 1612. All right. Woo! With a reload. 1612. One string to go. Stand by. 429. 429. Clear down holster. Ah! Gerald, are you ready? This yeah, suck ready. runs deep. <laughs> Stand by. Uh, 152. 152. Stand by. 113. 113. Stand by. 172. 172. Last string. Last string. Stand by. <laughs> 139. 139. <laughs> I finished unload show clear of hammer down and holster. Jerry, you're the last Kind of a guy. weird weekend, you know. Things haven't gone quite right at either match. The guns have been running just fine. I haven't been working very well. I hate to have my own personal excuses, but again, a poor performance on my part is not indicative of the gun's performance. A better shooter on a better day, a better result. But we'll finish the uh, test hearing here uh, with accuracy testing and we'll let you know the tail of tape. Thanks a lot. Hey shooters, end of a long day out shooting. Uh, we just finished up the Ruger 9E. I got it so you can see the light. Blowing, blowing pretty heavy outside, so I came indoors, well, inside of a shipping container so I can uh, get out of the wind. Anyways, the 9E, that's Ruger's uh, least expensive center fire auto loading pistol. Um, I wonder what they left out of it. It has a little bit cheaper finish. You know, you can look up the specs, but uh, the gun feels nice. Interchangeable back straps, steel sight, steel gun, polymer frame. Trigger's pretty decent. It shoots all right. Okay, it really doesn't shoot that great. Uh, I, I've gotten so spoiled, all the guns I've been shooting, three-inch groups are on the big side for almost every gun I've tested. 
two inch is much more comfortable. Inch and a half has been doable in a lot of guns, and some of my guns are very close to an inch. A really good group for this one is three inches at 25 yards. So that, that pains me a little bit that it doesn't, it's not that accurate. But as, you know, as guns go, service sidearm, it's, it does its job. Um, it's not quite accurate enough for me for competition, uh, but it might make a serviceable uh, carry piece. Um, it is a striker fired gun and it does have safety. So you probably saw in the video, well, I'll show you on the video, I had a hard time kicking the safety off occasionally. Now, within the game, if you got a safety, you got to use it. I did throughout the, throughout the match. But I had a, problems occasionally getting it off. And I also had a problem uh, with reset. The reset's a little bit gritty, and it's not solid and positive. So the trigger reset is not solid. So there's a couple of pans for it. Uh, the other un unusual thing about it is it doesn't like plated bullets at all. Now, I'm sponsored by Freedom Munitions, so they helped me out a lot. And thank you, Freedom Munitions, for doing that. But I shot the 115 grain new Freedom Munitions and the 124 Super Match that shoots very small groups and almost every other gun I've shot it in. It won't keep them on a pie plate at 25 yards. Between 8 and 10 inches or more at 25 yards out of the Ruger 9E. Now immediately after I shot those groups, I said, well, it's got to be me. So I shot another group. Well, it's got to be me. Ah, heck with that. Broke out the uh, one of the other guns I've tested, the CZ85B. Just a you know rock stock pistol, immediately shot two inch groups, immediately with both kinds of ammo, no problem at all. The Ruger 9E, something about the rifling probably, it's either very sharp or it's a different kind of rifling or something. It doesn't like plated bullets in the least. Maybe it likes somebody else's plated bullets. I don't know, but I was very disappointed with its accuracy with that. And unfortunately, that's what I shot at the steel match. So maybe some of my misses <laughs> were due in no small part to a pistol that won't shoot a minute of pie plate at 25 yards. It ran flawlessly, 300 rounds, not an issue of any kind. It feels good, I do like how it feels. The trigger is decent in trigger pull, it's not very good in reset. Um, it's a Ruger, and I, and I kind of panned it at the beginning, I've never been a fan of the Ruger center fire autoloaders. The Ruger 22 pistols, love them. Shot them in competition, both side competition for years and just loved them. I, they outshot my Model 41s, I never had a reason to, to buy a Hammerly. I shot Rugers because they shot great. Their revolvers, fantastic. Shot a, a, a 357 maximum. A 10 and a half inch barrel gun in silhouette. It was great. This autoloader ain't great. It's adequate. That's all I got for you right now. Uh, check out the groups. Check out the video. Post uh, uh, that you like it or don't. Give me some comments. You know, up here you can do, up here you can subscribe. Over here, other videos. Check it out. Support my channel. The more you do, the more you get honest reviews like I gave you on this pistol right here. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Hey, shooters. Uh, I got a little follow-up to do on the Ruger 9E, that the video you've uh, just, just watched. I wasn't happy with the accuracy. I mentioned that. And I wanted to find out why. Well, the gun seems to fit tight, so I did a chamber cast. Serial safe. You can get it at Brownells. And I mic'd it, and it's, in fact, 358. That unusual? Yes. Most 9mm are 355, 356 if they're a fat bore. So I think that had something to do with it. Well, how do I prove that? Well, I took, these are all bullets, representative samples, well, these are, of the bullets I shot and tested and you have a, a picture of. And in every case where the bullet has an exposed base, an exposed lead base, and in other words, not totally enclosed in jacket or plating material, they shot somewhat better, well, considerably better in some cases. So there's the CCI. A little close up on camera there. There's the PMC, which a very deep cavity allows for good obturation or good um, uh, the base of the bullet can be pushed open or made larger in diameter to seal the bore and fit the bore better for improved accuracy. Then there's the 115 Freedom and also the 124 Freedom. Again, they're fully enclosed. There's no lead exposed to these bullets at all. And all the bullets are 355 in diameter, all of them. And they didn't shoot very well. And then I come up with the arm score that I haven't been really happy with in most guns. It's, it's, it's decent stuff. It works okay. Never been the champ in accuracy. And this has an ex exposed uh, lead base. And it shot better than the Freedom Ammunition. Okay, I think that kind of explains it. I'm sponsored by Freedom Munitions. I didn't want their ammo to go and show it's how poorly it performed in this particular gun, but it did. But I gave a call to my buddy Brian Norris. Everybody calls him, he's known as BJ Norris, a super speed shooter. He works for Freedom Munitions. 
And I said, give him a call. I said, we have anything with a larger diameter than that? He goes, yeah. In the Hush line, the 147 and 165 Hush, 9 millimeter, are both a 356 bullet. So here's a 356, the uh, 147 grain from uh, Free Munitions, and the 165, great big bullet here, very long bullet. Well, anyways, I shot both of those, and I got improved group, group sizes by 50% over the other two Free Munitions uh, rounds, the 115 and the 124. So even with a completely enclosed bullet base, if you have a large enough diameter, the gun will shoot well. Uh, and look for a, my actual field testing on various guns with chronograph data and sound information on ammoguru.com. You'll find I, I write writing articles and creating web content for feeding munitions at ammoguru.com. And you'll find my write-up soon on the 147 and 165 grade hush for feeding munitions. Anyways, I think I figured out why the gun didn't shoot. It's a good gun otherwise. It didn't shoot as accurate, accurate, accurately as I wanted it to, but uh, with the right ammo, I think you'll be very happy with its performance. Thanks a lot guys for watching, and please like, subscribe, and share. The more I grow my channel, the better my odds are to getting more guns without having to spend every nickel I own trying to buy guns to do videos that I don't get paid to do. But that's okay. If you guys are appreciative of what I'm doing and let me know, I'll do my very best to continue on. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.